Hello and welcome back. Today we're actually going to go over installing Waza. And I know it sounds like a very interesting name. And all I can think of is probably back in the 80s or 90s, we used to always say Waza. So I hate, I hate that. It's corny as heck. But anyways, that's what it reminded me of. Um, it is a uh, SIEM solution or uh, basically a security information and event management uh solution it is you know pretty valuable uh obviously in the enterprise environment as well as you know if you want to run it at your home you can as well uh so we'll actually be going through a install of it and we're just going to install the uh, manager and then there's index or there's multiple parts to this uh but we're going to do it using uh docker and then with that docker installation we'll be able to get that up and running really fast and quick um so we're going to go over to the uh, was uh was a Docker deployment. Um, so here's what we need to do first. Uh, first, we need to have a uh, VM that's already been installed with Docker, which I've showed how to do that multiple times, or it is there uh, that you can look at to set it up. And then from there, all right, once you're logged into your VM, you're going to do a sudo su. Once you sudo to as root, uh, next we're going to do a git clone command. And this will pull the uh, was a Docker from GitHub. And it is pulling that down right now. Uh, there's quite a few parts to this. Um, if we go back to the documentation, uh, we can actually see uh, that they've got, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff that's built in endpoint security, threat intelligence, security operations and cloud security. So it does quite a bit. Um, it, it's, it's a pretty decent product. Um, I've been using it for a little while uh, on different things. Uh, but I thought it'd be a, a good thing to bring up uh, for that. Uh, you, I mean, you can go to the documentation and you, you can see the different components, architecture, all that kind of stuff is in here. Like I said, it's, it's an indexer, a server, a dashboard, and then you got the agent itself uh, for those uh, components. So we've brought this down. Um, that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. Uh, one other thing it does show here in the Docker installation says you need to increase the uh, max map count. So we're going to run this command right here. And that will increase that uh, amount that's on there. And that's just the map count uh, to 2062, 144. Uh, now that's been put in there as of uh, that command. Um, it is not there permanently. Um, just to let you guys know. Um, so now that we've done that, uh, the next thing we want to do is run this Docker Compose. And this is going to generate the certificates uh, for the system. Once we've downloaded that, we can do a quick list and go into the was a Docker, do a list as well. And then we're going to go into the single. So we're going to have this all on one node. And then from here, we're actually going to run the uh, cert uh, generator uh, from there. And I'll post these uh, in, in the uh, comments as well as uh, probably put it to an actual uh, site. Um, so it's done that. It's created the single node generator. It's changed the certificate permissions. It moves certificates to the destination directory. All that good stuff. So we are good to go for that part. Let me do a quick list here. And it's going to actually run this Docker Compose file here. Show that real quick. Um, so it sets up all this information for you. I think the biggest thing that, to, that you can get from this, like I said, it's been running flawlessly for me. No, sorry, is this is going to be your password. You can change that. Um, I'm not going to this time, but I would highly recommend that, obviously. Um, and then uh, from here, you're actually just going to do a Docker Compose. Uh, you're going to do up dash D and this is going to take a little bit of time, but not too much in general. And this will set up the actual was a server indexer, all those different parts uh, for you. And then you'll log in uh, once that's up and running. So we'll kick this off. Uh, shouldn't take too long and I'll fast forward to make this as go as fast as possible. Right now it's just uh, downloading and extracting those uh, files. Okay, looks like it's all done. As I mentioned, there's your three major ones, the Waza indexer, the manager, as well as the dashboard itself. And then we just do a quick Docker PS. And we can see that we've got the uh, three different 
uh, systems here running in uh, containers. We've got the, the dashboard and the indexer and the manager. Uh, what ports they're listening to so they can do some intercommunication between themselves, uh, different entry points as well. And then the one that we're most uh, interested in is actually this one right here. Uh, and we will be doing an HTTPS to the IP address of where this uh, system resides. So if you do an IPA real quick, we can see that the IP address that we are going to want to go to is 192.168.246 uh, for the web, inter uh, web uh, interface. So we'll uh, go out to our browser, HTTPS. Put that in, and it does take a while to start up. So I'm going to hit enter here, and you'll see a message. Uh, if that message isn't there, then it was pretty fast. But uh, if you do get this message, just wait a little while, and it will come back online. Um, so if we hit that, it looks like it's all up and running. So we didn't hit that message that I thought we might hit. I'm um, sorry, we did get the message anyway. So the, the dashboard server is not ready yet. So it's going through and still configuring that. Like I said, it will take a little bit of time. Um, so we'll just let that take its time and then we'll refresh here in a little bit and we should have the uh, actual dashboard. Okay, we're going to try logging in again and it seems to be loading this time. So we're good to go. So the uh, web interface is up and going. As I mentioned, this is going to be admin and the password is going to be secret. Password with a capital S and a capital P. We're going to log in. And it's just doing the checks. So everything looks great. Uh, we're up and running. There's no agents. So we've got a little banner here already telling us what we need to do. So we're going to say add an agent. And then here you can select. You can do Mac, Windows, or Linux. We're actually going to do the uh, Debian uh, AMD. We have a Ubuntu server. Uh, this can be a, you know, assign a server address. So this is going to be the server itself that it's on. So this is actually going to be the 192.168.10.246. You can use uh, fully qualified don uh, domain names if you have that, like your DNS uh, name if you have that. Um, here you can assign the agent a name. So we're just going to call this, uh, what was it called, Telegraph, since that's the server that's going to be. Can't be changed. It's fine. Uh, be in the default group, that's fine. And then what's cool is it actually gives us what command we need to run on that server itself. Um, so we're going to copy that. We are going to now log into the Telegraph server. And then now we're going to just paste that command in that it told us to do. So there's the wget, and it's going to install that. And setting up the agent. And we should be good to go. So this is the server or the server that we want to monitor or bring all that information into uh, was also we can uh, kind of dissect it a little bit and see what's going on. Uh, like I said, it's been, in, it's been installed. Uh, so we're all set to go on the Telegraph server that we installed this on. And you can do this for any amount of agents that you have. Um, you can do it on your you know, Windows. You can do it on your, your Linux boxes, uh, Ubuntu. It doesn't matter. Any of the ones that are uh, supported there by the uh, RPMs or dev packages uh, so we'll minimize that and then uh it says next you'll need to start the agent so we're going to copy that command and go back to that server paste those and it's starting up the agent on that uh, client everything looks good there so now we can actually pop back into our uh main console or main web page and from there we can actually go to home an overview and here we can see in our agent summary that we've got one active so we can just click on that and we can see here it is like i said it's telegraph that's the ip address um, what's cool is it'll tell you different information so you can just click this little uh eyeglass and it's a summary so we can see a summary of it it's active all the information that's on it stuff like that which is pretty cool uh, one thing I do like is uh, from here as well, you can actually go uh, and uh, like go to inventory data. So you can see all the network interfaces, IP addresses, all that stuff, which I think is you know pretty interesting. And it, it's a good place to keep it so you can have a configuration uh, location for all your different systems and stuff like that, um, as well as, you know, 
if someone wants, you can just hit generate report. What this generate report does is actually create a uh, PDF. It says it's success. Go to your dashboard management reporting. So we're going to our dashboard. Uh, we're going to dashboard management. We're going to reporting. And then there's our actual PDF file. So you download, and there it is. So it tells you information about that system, IP address, um, you know, who the manager is, operating system, all, all that good information there. Um, so that's it. I uh, hope you enjoy that. Uh, it's a quick. Uh, fast install of the was a uh, system enterprise uh, manager it's, it's very powerful uh, we'll go into more detail on it but I just want to show you the quick setup of that hope you enjoyed this uh, have a great rest of the night and uh, we'll, we'll dig into some more information with this as well as other things uh, throughout with Proxmox you know with Prometheus with all the different uh, technologies that you can have uh, in a home lab to learn them and then eventually implement them possibly uh, at your uh, business or just to keep your skills up to par. So again, thank you. If you would, please like and subscribe and hope you have a great rest of the night.